Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts. And what we're going to be doing today is a fabulous technique using some resin and some dish soap. Blowing some bubbles and showing you how we can get some great results. Now, I'm using these little pendant moulds because they are a great mould and they are an ideal depth to do this. You don't want to be doing them in a mould that is too thin. Thing. I'll also be using this wonderful resin by J Diction, which is a really quick curing epoxy resin. It's a great price, great quality resin. Again, no VOCs and it comes in two bottles, A and B, and you also get some mixing sticks with it as well, which I absolutely love these. It's full, fully cured within eight to 10 hours, but you can demold it after four hours. And it's all the instructions are on the box and it gives a wonderful high gloss finish, which is what you want as well. I will link this in the description below so you can get hold of it. I've been using this in quite a lot of projects recently and it does work really, really well. One of the other great things about this is you actually still get about a 30 minute pot time with this So it's well worth playing around with it's ideal for coating pictures and doing small castings like this or for doming Wonderful gotta get some you've got to have some of this in your resin stash So what I always say is make sure that you mark your jug when you measure your resin out because it makes it a lot easier to see Now I've mixed my resin up and I'm just decanting some of this off so that I can add some of this wonderful J Diction translucent pigment to it. I'm pouring a little bit, only halfway into this mold and then ensuring that it covers the full base of this mold using the end of this micro brush. And I find that if I pour in a little bit, I can always top it up, but it's easier to top up than take out. I just want to say a quick thank you to all my members whose names are coming up now. If you'd like to become a member of my channel and enjoy all the benefits, the link for that is in the description below. So going over, pop in any of the surface bubbles that may have come up, because I'd like this to be as bubble free as possibly, ironically, and then letting it cure up. Now these are all cured up, what I want to do is add the bubble effect to it. And all I'm using is some dish soap or washing up liquid, some warm water. It's, it's not hot at all, it's just warm. And I'm putting quite a bit in there until I get some really good bubbles going. If I had a straw, I could blow some bubbles in there, but I don't have one. So that's the sort of size of bubbles you want, but the different sizes do give you different effects. Now what I need to do is, because I've only put a very shallow fill in here, there is enough room now to put the UV resin on the top. And you want to make sure that you've got a nice layer of UV resin. I'm not going to fill it right to the top, because again, I want to have a bit of space there. So now is where I pull my bubbles off and put my bubbles onto the UV resin. And make sure they get them everywhere, like that. And now I let that sit for about four or five seconds and then I'll cure that up using my torch. And you will find that the UV light will go through the bubbles, not a problem. And this is a fairly clear mould, so if I wanted to, I could lift this up and then go through the base as well. But I don't need to, because this will get in there nicely. Once that's cured, what you'll find is the bubbles will look like they're still there. Well, in fact, they're not there. Well, there might be one or two. <laughs> so go over it with your cloth and dry that off. And then you're left with that nice kind of bubbly finish to it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest and I'm going to do them with different size bubbles and then I'll show you how to finish them off. It is really easy. Great technique. I didn't invent this technique. This is a technique I learned a long, long time ago. And I'm using the J Diction UV resin for this because I think this is one of the best UV resin, if not the best UV resin on the market at the moment. It is such a great price. It's a lovely consistency and it cures up really really well without that stickiness that sometimes gets left at the end when you're curing up UV resin and it also comes in some really good sizes as well I will only do a maximum of about three at any one time because I want to make sure that I'm curing them really well so again I'll go ahead I'll cure those up now I'll finish the rest off and I'll show you what we're going to do next well now I've got all these done and they're all nice and set what I'm going to do is use a very soft brush and I'm using my 
makeup brushes to do this with to brush on some mica powder. These are all dry and I'm using the Jdiction mica powders for this and again I will link these in the description below. And you don't need to paint a lot of this on here, you only need to brush a little bit on. I just go on and brush it into the actual area that I want it. And the reason I do it all in the mould is it just makes life a little bit easier for the next stage and all the stages, to be honest. Once I'm happy with the amount that's on there, I will then blow the excess because I don't want the excess floating around. And there we go. So that's all the excess blown off and I'm going to do a different colour in each one so you can see what it looks like with all different colours. So I've finished dusting these now and as you can see they're looking really quite pretty but what I'm going to do now is add just a domed layer using the Quick Cure by J Diction over the top and then let that cure up. It shouldn't take more than about four or five hours and then I can show you what to do next. I like to dome up using a pipette. I find it gives me a much better dome. And what you'll find with this J Diction Quick Cure Resin is you'll get a really nice deep dome with this as well. I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who bought me a coffee last month, whose names are coming up now on my coffee board. And if you'd like to buy me a coffee to help support this channel, the link for that is in the description below. Now these are all cured, we can take them out of the mold. I think they look really good from this side, but wait until you see them from the other side. And they come out really easily and also they'll already have the little holes in because this mould has got the little pegs in that creates the little holes. And there we go. And you can see really easily how those bubbles are in there. And this is a great little pendant mould. I think it's a lovely little shape as well. And adding the mica powder to them really does set them all off nicely. Let's turn them all round that way. I mean, you don't have to wear them round that way. You could wear them round the other way as well. But I think they look really nice that way. Let's have a look and see which one. Oh, that one's come out really well. Now, that one was with the bigger bubbles in it. It's a really nice, easy, simple technique that actually gives you quite an advanced finish and something that's unique, I think, every time to your work. Let me know in the comments what you think. Obviously, like, like I said, this is not a technique that I invented by no means. It's been around quite a long time, but I haven't seen it demonstrated for a long, long time, so I thought I would show it. Please boot the like button if you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my other resin videos. It's ever so easy to convert these into necklaces. You can either put a jump ring through them or use one of the little push bales on them and there's lots of variety of push bows out there i mean for instance i've got this nice plain one that's in silver and they just push on there and they hold on there really really well but if you want something a little bit or more ornate there are some more ornate ones as well and i do have a whole video on how to do your own jewelry and finish it all off so check that out i'll link it at the end of this one i'll also link everything that i've used today in the description below along with the link to buy me a coffee if you'd like to say thank you for any of my videos and help support this channel. It's really appreciated. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.